Hey guys, Sturge here, and today we're back on the channel 12, where the trophy push to Legend League. Right now I'm at 3,900 trophies inside the Champions 1, and the goal for today is to make it up to 4,100 trophies inside the Titans 3. And to get to that goal, we're going to be using the Mass Super Dragon attack strategy with more balloons inside of the Clan Castle. And here's the equipment that I'll be using for the King. Here is what I'll be using for the Queen, and the Warden will be using these two equipment here. I'm going to be trying to attack Tunnel 12s and Tunnel 13s today as I make it up to Titan 3. And starting off with our first attack here, which is this Tunnel 13, where 56 trophies, amazing offer to start off the day. We're going to head down to the bottom and start off with our Baby Dragon to create the pathing for our heroes. We'll drop a Goblin on this Collector, and then we'll wall break into the base to allow for our heroes to head up into this Inferno. Tower Expo and uh, Scattershot compartment here. We need that Archer Tower to go down to allow for our heroes to path into this compartment, and they will. So we'll head up towards that Scattershot. We're going to drop our King ability a little bit later on as the, he is pretty uh, healthy right now. So we'll drop a Goblin over there in the meantime, and we'll drop our King ability now to take down the uh, enemy Queen, the Scattershot, and hopefully head up into the top compartment as well with that Queen ability being used there. That wall break wasn't really used or needed because of the king breaking into the middle of the base. So we'll drop our dragons over here at the right side with the balloons and the warden with the stone slammer and we'll drop our overgrowth spell down here to path everything up towards that top compartment there where we'll freeze it with the scattershot inferno and that air defense. We'll drop a rage onto the eagle and another freeze and a rage onto the top compartment to speed everything through those buildings and make our way over towards that town hall which does activate because of the 50 percent so we'll freeze that there and we're getting ready with our war ability here as the stone slammer does pop we'll drop another freeze onto the town hall and as that town hall goes down we'll drop that war ability there to keep everything alive through that explosion uh, we still have a couple of freezes, which will drop one here on that Tesla farm and that single Inferno. We still have a bunch of dragons and balloons still up in uh, the left side of the base here. So we'll drop another last freeze through those Teslas. And we'll drop our archers over here at the left side to start to do a little bit of damage to those outside buildings. As we have a few more defenses to take down over here at the left side. About five dragons left, which I think is all of them. Uh, so we'll head over to the right side once we take down these outside buildings over here we have those balloons already heading over to the right side which are have a couple of defenses which is an air defense and a couple of uh, archer towers and cannon uh, so we'll try to take down this side of the base we have 50 seconds left as the dragons head over so we have plenty of time left in the raid it's just a matter of if we have enough firepower to get through this air defense and it looks like we do so we will hopefully get this three star against this town hall 13 four buildings left to take down for this three star for the plus 56 on this town hall 13 as a town hall 12 using super dragons not too bad for the first attack of the day and on to the next base we have this town hall 12 worth 39 trophies i think i'm going to start off from the very top of the base to take down the inferno and the eagle up here maybe even the clan castle if there are any clan castle troops in there uh, I guess we'll start off with a wall break to open this compartment and then we'll drop the king queen and the ice golem to head into this compartment. Over the queen, actually we'll drop a baby dragon over here just to make sure the queen heads into the base and it looks like she will. That ice golem will die which will freeze that inferno to keep the king at that health for a little bit longer. We will drop the king's ability here pretty soon. Uh, we'll drop another wall break actually here to head down towards this bottom section of the base and we'll see if we can open up that compartment and we will very good we still have both the hero abilities to use and we're gonna go from the very bottom of the base with our dragon so we'll drop the goblins down here and i guess we drop the queen's ability auto there so we'll drop the kings as well and there aren't any clan castle troops in here we can take down both of the air defenses as well we'll see if we can we'll try to poison on the enemy queen to take her down so we get crazy value with our heroes but we have two minutes left in the raid so we should probably start get going with our dragons so we'll drop the balloons and the dragons down here we'll drop our overgrowth spell over here at the right side to path this dragon back in towards uh everyone else and we'll drop our rage and also we'll drop the uh, warning ability early on just to move quickly through these uh, expos and teslas up here we'll get ready with our uh freeze onto the town hall and i guess we'll drop a rage over here on the left with another freeze to keep the dragons and stuff up 
through the left side of the base. That model, or the, yeah, not the model, the uh, uh, overgrowth spell over on the right side did wear off, so we can attack those buildings over on the right side. And not too many air targeting defenses left. The dragons over on the right will take down everything there. I guess we can wait our freeze for when the uh, stone slammer pops and it will right there. So we'll drop the freeze just to keep those balloons alive so we can guarantee this three star on this tunnel 12. With just under a minute left in the raid, we have the dragons and warden working over here at the right side and we'll clear out the last few buildings. Actually, they're all over here on the right side. This builder hut is the final one to get this three star on this tunnel 12 for the plus 39 trophies for the second attack of the day. And we got another Town Hall 12 worth 38 trophies. We're gonna start off at the very top of the base with our heroes to try to take out the air defense and get our way closer towards that Ego Artillery. Uh, so we'll drop a Baby Dragon on the left side and a Goblin on this, the right side, with a wall break. And then we'll drop the Ice Golem, King, and the Queen. And I guess I'll drop another wall break into the next compartment to open up that one to allow for our king to head into that direction and see if we can make our way over towards uh, the eagle artillery. We're gonna drop a poison for the skeletons and the enemy queen here. If that is in uh, multi inferno, so we should be fine with the king here. We'll drop the ability to take down the queen and the other surrounding buildings here. The queen should hopefully head in towards the uh, compartment where the king is so we can head over towards the eagle and take that down. While it's happening, we're gonna head down to the bottom here and drop the goblin right about there. We'll drop the queen's ability to take down the eagle and the multi inferno. And then we can head back down to the left side where we can drop the dragons, the balloons, the warden and the stone slammer. We'll drop the overgrowth spell over here at the bottom to path everything up towards the town hall. We'll drop a rage through here, freezing the inferno and the town hall. And I guess we'll drop another rage once that tornado wears off. So we'll drop a freeze in the meantime. And we'll get that last rage going here as we'll use our warn ability as the town hall is about to go down instantly basically for that second star moving all the way over to the right side we will drop a uh, freeze right about here on this air defense and as we make our way over to the right side we have that expo and stuff working through up the left uh the dragon at the top might actually die so we'll drop a freeze onto that just to hopefully allow for that dragon to head over and take that down we'll drop the next freeze here and that dragon will take down the air defense that last air defense at the right side the warden actually died from a, probably the expo or something not too sure we start that stone slammer up 50 seconds left in the raid as we make our way over to the right side a pretty fun attack strategy to be honest haven't really used super dragons until this super dragon event started so i might actually use this a little bit more often as we get the last couple of defenses down for the three star against this town hall 12 we still have three dragons left and the stone slammer with a bunch of balloons inside of there and saving that freeze for another day. We get over to this final building, which is the gold storage for the final building for the plus 38 trophies that we head back to the base getting 900 ice cubes for this event. And we make it up to the goal for today at 4,134 trophies inside of Titans 3. Check out the video linked on screen now if you wanna see the overgrowth spell in action as a Tunnel 12. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.